Los Angeles River, once a junk graveyard. Like Dante in Paradise Lost, she needed a poet to lead her out of the inferno. That poet is Lewis McAdams. Forty years ago, cutting a hole in a wire fence, he crept down and asked her if he could speak for her. She didn't say no. And that's how Friends of the Los Angeles River began. is a rigorous mistress, but when you tickle her with your deeds, you can hear her laughter from beneath her concrete corset. So, do you know who wrote that? Um, no. Well, the river can always hear us. Wake up, honey, and listen to the wind outside. The river is a rigorous mistress. But when you tickle her with your deeds, you can hear her laughter from beneath her concrete corset. It's pretty deep. <laughs> what do you think a corset is? A corset is like something that's form-fitting, that like gives a woman shape. I think that refers directly to this river, which is paved with concrete. Um, but it's whimsical, that's what a river is. You can never step in the same river twice. The hurricane is breaking through tonight. Mother Nature's unchecked wrath won't leave nothing in her path. This morning she scorched. The river's it's a regard a mistress, uh, but when we it tickle her with uh, your deeds, you can hear her laughter. From beneath the, beneath her, con, con, her concrete uh, corset. Yeah, I'll help you. Oh shoot! Oh, oh shoot! Oh, that was a bad. Um, I'm pretty sure he's saying that uh, even if we cover up uh, our land with the uh, concrete, there's still light blooming underneath it. But it's hidden from the world, so we cannot see its beauty. You can hear her laughter from beneath her concrete corset. Um, I guess, I guess it would mean when you like disturb her, the dark stuff or the stuff that you don't want comes from all over the place. I guess I would say that. Um, to me, it means you need to be careful. Mother Nature's unchecked wrath won't leave nothing in her path. This morning, she scorched up the plains. Now she's probably with this I mean, for me, it's, you know, it's recognizing and taking a look at, you know, what you do and how it affects what's around you, in this case being the river, um, and just knowing that we can make a difference and be a part of it. The hurricane is breaking through tonight. The hurricane is breaking through too. Wait, who do you think wrote that? It was either Walt Whitman, 
Because I don't think concrete was around then. Or uh, who's the other one? Adams. There's a poet. Yeah, there's a poet from the 20th century. It's Adams something, but Ball Whitman is my guess. Lost Valley's uh, bow tie, Fletcher bow tie, and frog spot are estimated to have about a thousand volunteers. The river is the uh, unknown gem of Los Angeles, so we need to clean it up and keep taking care of it and bring it back to life. Why am I here? Because we love LA and we love our river and we want it to be as nice as possible. It's like fishing, isn't it? Hey, look at it. It's getting right there. If we get to that log, you got another big piece. Oh, no. It went by. <laughs> Barbed wire doesn't stop volunteers. No, they did a perfect job. You know, not only the volunteers, but the staff, Cleaning Green, Conservation Corps, and everybody, you know, joined together to make um, the LA River better again. As you can tell, all this trash came from the river. And thanks to the volunteers and everybody, you know, we could keep the river maintained clean again. It's an anime. It's, um, <laughs> it's, basically, it's basically about this guy who comes from outer space and he gets used to Earth and then he's a Super Saiyan and then he kills bad guys that try to kill Earth. Yeah, he's technically a god. He's technically a god. He, he fights bad guys. And is it, um, does he really volunteer? Yeah. yeah. He, How, does, he does. How does he volunteer? He saves the Earth like a thousand times. Say that again? He saves the earth like a thousand times. Yeah. After today, what do you think about the river being the same river? Um, well, it definitely isn't the same river because all these volunteers just helped out a lot to clean it up. And I mean, obviously, there's still a lot more to get clean, but it's a good step forward. Last volunteers. Oh. <laughs> There's a couple more back there. 